Welcome. And in this video, we're going to do a kind of experiment with the help of my personal assistant. We are going to harvest the ripe seeds of three very easy to grow palms. Now if you're interested in any of these palms or getting seeds of your own, I have links in the description. Just go ahead and click on it. They're usually pretty inexpensive and pretty high probability of success. Now this is the Robolini palm made famous in many Eat Your Backyard videos. You can see when the seeds get ripe they turn that darker blackish brown color. There's Jack inspecting this year's harvest. Now Robolini seeds I'd say have a good germination success rate. Not great. They're not out of the three we're going to harvest today. This would be the least hardy of the three. But I would say good good chance of success with those seeds. So, you know, as you can see, you get a lot of seeds. Typically when you buy them, you get a pile of seeds too. So, you expect it to have some percentage of success rate depending on the type of plant. And this one I would just rate as good. Not great, just good. And you can see the palm nut uh, stack continues to grow. Now those stalks that hold those nut clusters to the palm are very fibrous. You can see my clipper, which is the one I love to use, is in some cases getting a little hung up. I had to give it the double clip. I'll leave a link to those clippers in the description too. There it is. Now, I always plant them when they're nice and fresh. I think that helps. Uh, as you harvest them fresh like this, you end up getting palm tree sap on you, if they're ripe, because they are actually a type of fruit. I do not think they are edible, although some types of palms are edible, like the pindo palm. Great example. Tastes like a banana married a pineapple and turned into a palm tree. Now that's a lot of palm nuts. Now the thing is with the Robolini, if you look there, you're going to see lots of needles. You see Jack's getting a little sap on his fingers. Now we're kind of getting in there to the hard to reach, the ones with the highest likelihood of getting poked in the finger. Even though Robolini does have the spikes towards the base of the fronds, it's really pretty manageable just because it's a small palm tree and, and you have to really think hard to be bothered by it. It's the only tree plant in my yard that has thorns on it because I've eradicated all others, but I kept this one because it's manageable. It's fairly safe. I mean, you really have to get in there to uh, suffer the injury. Normally it is getting poked while trimming it and we're super careful. Now that's a nice stack of Robolini palm nuts. And something we like to do is just kind of just kind of shake it around. Okay, on to number 2. The Cocos palm, the queen palm, some call it. Now, I've been growing these palm nuts on this Cocos palm for oh, a couple of months, a few months. And as you can see, they are ready to rock. They will eventually start turning orange and falling off. At that point, it is uh, not as fun to trim them because they shower everywhere now. This is a technique I've developed over the years. You give it a short clip, then hold on to the flower, and then use the tree to brace the other side of the loppers, and they come right down. That way, they don't just come down seven feet and hit the ground and then explode with palm nuts in all directions. But that thing is actually pretty heavy. 
I don't know how heavy, but 20 pounds? It's big. Okay, time to go in for the other one. Same method. Give it kind of the partial clip, wedge it up against the tree, get a hold of the flower, then pop it. And you can see as that thing came down, I felt the weight of it. Not so easy just to hold it up there. Now that one was the big one. Look at that thing. Whew. Now that's a much higher chance of germination per nut, I would say. How many palm trees can you grow? You know, a lot. <laughs> And since they're fairly easy to grow uh, from a nut, that's a good way to go. Now, compare the, the difference between two types of palm trees here, where the cocos palm laying right next to the, what they call the pygmy date palm, the famous robolini. I think that's very beautiful, actually. Uh, and here we are, crowd favorite, the Eureka palm, the famous sugarcane palm. Look at those trunks. Doesn't it look like sugarcane or bamboo? And look at the fruit. Orange. This one was on the verge. It was about to release the fruit. Release the hounds. Now this one is the top germinator. So if the Robolini is the lowest of the three, Coco's Palm coming in at the middle, this is without a doubt at the top. I give this as close to 100% germination success rate for each seed as uh, I can. And uh, I actually have grown this many times from these palms. This palm that you see here is the result of me throwing a bunch of these seeds from the palm tree in my backyard in a pot. So this was one I grew from seeds. How many could you grow? Well, typically people put about 30 or 40 of those in a pot and just grow them as a big like bushy thing and that's why you see these multi-trunk situations although they do multi-trunk whether you grow them you know, lots in a clump or not okay so let's take these new areca palm seeds and by the way keep in mind links to all these types of palm seeds and live plants are provided in the description so go check those out Click on to support the channel. So there it is. That's the haul. There's Jack. Lifting him up. Getting his hands dirty. And experiencing palm tree nut mania. Look at that. <laughs> so different. The color, the shape, the structure. Really interesting, and you know, that's one of the reasons I would just encourage you to enjoy plants in your backyard with your kids, with your family, make it part of your life. Get some palm sap on your hands. All right. <laughs> Lift a gigantic palm flower or two. Why not? What you waiting for? Well, hey, don't wait to subscribe to Eat Your Backyard. If you listened this far, you're a true believer. So go ahead and subscribe. Check out the channel more. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified as new videos come out because they come out all the time. And I'm hoping you'll... Thanks for watching. Eat your backyard.